to get more on this, we're joined by Liam Hackett, who is an activist and the founder of the Global Equality and Biggest Anti-Bullying Charity Ditch the Label. He joins us live from London. Liam, thanks for joining us on the program. Before her death, Caroline Flack dealt with a barrage of online bullying and negative attention in the media. But celebrities aren't the only ones who have to deal with this. Talk to us about the psychological impact of cyberbullying, particularly on young people who are growing up with social media and there really is no offline for them. Yeah, you're very right. In fact, uh, digital labor research finds that a third of young people have at some point experienced abuse online. And we know that the effects can and often are devastating. Um, we find high rates of depression, anxiety, eating disorders, uh, body dysmorphia. And in rare circumstances, young people and adults do take their own lives, which is just an absolutely devastating consequence of online abuse. And, uh, you know, it really kind of, I think there's this societal myth that just because something abusive is posted online makes it less harmful or abusive. And um, unfortunately, you know, with Caroline's death, it's, it's a stark reminder that that isn't the case at all. You said a third of young people have had to deal with some form of online bullying. Is it more prevalent than traditional type of bullying, you know, at school, spreading rumors or even, you know, fights um, after, after school? And, and, is, and is online bullying, um, is, is it more harmful in some ways? I wouldn't necessarily be able to say if it's more prevalent or not, because it, it, it's just an expansion of what we call traditional bullying. Um, it's just bullying in a different environment. Um, what we do know that is that the rate is increasing, and we do know that if, particularly if somebody is being bullied and targeted offline, and then being targeted online as well, it only amplifies the impacts that it has on their mental health and well-being. Um, and when you kind of think 20 or 30 years ago, if you were being bullied in school or in a workplace, and home was your escapism, um, now no longer that that is the case. Um, so, you know, we get a whole barrage of, of young people with various different issues, um, from having anonymous trolls to having their personal information leaked to death threats, um, abusive comments based on how they look. Um, you know, it really is endless. You know, there have always been online trolls since, the, you know, the age of the Internet began. But with the rise of social media, do you think it's actually getting worse? Because we tend to see this mob mentality on Facebook and Twitter with people who don't even know each other attacking, you know, one person or one issue. Yeah, I think a lot of people become desensitized when it comes to the Internet. Something that really concerns us at Ditch the Label is how the Internet has developed this cancel culture where um, somebody may have done something wrong. Um, and quite often it's a public personality or a celebrity and um, they're not allowed to have that thought in a private domain. It's it's out in the public. And as we've seen with Caroline, um, it's been blasted all over the media and social media too. Um, I mean, the abuse she was receiving on social media was horrific. And um, the experiences that we hear of young people all the time is when they're experiencing abuse online, it just becomes so incredibly overwhelming. And it's actually very difficult to feel any sort of release or escapism from that. Right. Uh, very important subject that we need to talk more about. And unfortunately, it doesn't sound like it's going away. Liam Hackett, thank you so much for your time today.